Hello, I'm Dr. Paul Juris of Solo 3 in the PGA Kinematics Lab. When it comes to our clients getting results, one of our favorite devices is the Cybex Arc Cross Trainer. As you'll see in the following demonstration, the design, ease of use, and variety of training stimuli make the Cybex Arc a must-have in any performance environment. We've chosen the Arc Trainers because of their outstanding design features. For example, one of the most important factors in getting results is the proper mechanical loading of the joints. Let's take a moment to examine how the joints are loaded while using the Total Body Arc Trainer. As illustrated, the red diagonal line indicates the direction of the line of force as it's coming off the pedal at the beginning of the application. The two yellow lines indicate the distance between the center of the knee and hip joints respectively to that line of force and are key determinants in the amount of torque experienced by those joints throughout the movement. And now let's examine the knee joint. As indicated, the line of force, the red diagonal line, is positioned behind the knee joint and is trying to make it flex. The torque experienced by the joint is determined by the magnitude of that line of force and its distance from the knee's joint center as indicated by the yellow line. Because this is trying to force the knee into flexion, it's referred to as a flexor torque. In response, the subject must really work her extensors at the knee in order to move this device therefore making this an excellent movement for knee extension capability. The hip behaves similarly as the knee. In this case, however, the line of force is positioned in front of the hip joint and therefore is trying to make the hip flex. Combined with the distance between the line of force and the hip joint, that creates a flexor torque. In response, the hip extensor musculature must engage in order to create enough force through the hip in order to set the machine in motion. As in the knee, this is an excellent way of strengthening hip extensors and developing functional capability. The arc does indeed ensure that the hip and knee will perform a significant amount of work, but at the same time, protects those joints from undue stress. The horizontal yellow line, as indicated by the red arrow, represents the amount of horizontal force exerted during this movement. The horizontal force is that which would cause shear specifically at the knee joint. Because the horizontal component is relatively small on the arc, there is very little shear experienced by the knee. Therefore, the knee can exert a lot of force, yet not experience the detrimental effects of high shear stress. Finally, for equipment designed to be effective, it should work in concert with the performer. Unlike many of today's cross trainers, which force people into an unnatural movement pattern, the foot plates of the arc move in perfect synchrony with the user's legs, creating a safe, smooth, and challenging workout. One of the great features of the ARC is its almost limitless variety of applications. For example, one can choose to train at a high intensity or train at a low intensity. Or one can even select from a number of interval programs which are considered to be the most effective means of improving overall condition and stimulating weight loss. The arc's versatility allows for several different grip options, like a traditional reciprocating gait. If more stability is desired, the hands can be placed on the horizontal rails. The middle hand position allows for a more energetic ride. And finally, the arc's unique climbing experience can be achieved with the hands in the forward position. With the arc's climbing motion, the arms and legs work together in the same direction. This is different from traditional elliptical trainers, but in this case, different may be better. The purpose of reciprocal motion during gait is for the arms to counterbalance the rotation of the hips 
in order for a person to walk straight. On an arc, there's nowhere to walk but straight. So the arms really don't serve a functional purpose. It's also noteworthy to examine the trunk during reciprocal gait. Notice here, as indicated in the oval, the subject's trunk is not rotating at all, but rather staying still while the arms move back and forth. On the arc, the trunk remains just as still, and the arm motion, that just enhances the workout. The arc is one of the most manageable cross trainers in the fitness industry. From its ease of entry to its simple adjustability, the arc can accommodate users of a variety of shapes and sizes. Even special populations will find the arc accessible, easy to use, stress-free, and tremendously beneficial. And the one feature that really helps people get results is the arc is fun.